Hello everybody, I am the Demon Werewolf here, and be honest, you all thought the series was over, didn't you? Didn't you? Well, suffice it to say, you're wrong, because here we are again for Tiny Team Racing! As you probably couldn't tell by the title of the video already. Yes, I did, I'll admit right now, I did kind of practice once off screen, just to make sure I didn't get rusty, but... I'm gonna say something right now. You know how I kind of stopped Neo Kuni because it didn't get all that much viewage in? Well, it's not the same with this one at all, actually. Because for this one, I simply lost the game. I literally could not find CD for I don't know how bloody long. And where's Pura? Pura can't be that far ahead, really? Pura was that far ahead. Anyways, if you don't recall in the last episode, I kind of did lose this level. Yeah, totally. No lie, I just got right sunk for whatever reason, I can't tell. Oh yeah, shortcut probably had something to do with it. A shortcut that didn't work, that was to my left right there, and I'm going to fall off the edge again. No, I'm not. Anyways, how have you guys been doing? I've been itching to get this one back in for the videos, because um, I know quite a few people did like it. I don't know if it's because the crash is just so infamous and all that, but yeah. Um... I did want to quickly, briefly talk about um, something that a lot of people might be wondering as far as like why I haven't been uploading. No, YouTube is not hitting me hard with any copyright things. The only thing that's getting hit at all is SLAI, and that's for the background music, and that's because it is um, some actual famous songs that I guess are being copyrighted, and I will have to remove those whenever I do get back to that. I'm not going to remove the videos, I'm just going to try and take out the music section of it if I can help it. But, again, I'm experimenting with it. I'm trying to please all parties and all that. But it's not like my videos on that are all that great. And we've already won our track. We smoked everybody as compared to last time. Oh, hell. I need to do this more often. But again, the whole reason why I wouldn't be recording... I think said party is actually to respect my wishes today because I haven't heard a single peep for over an hour, so I'm going to take that as a sign of goodwill that I can actually do this. If I can't, this is actually one of the damn games that I can just simply restart because save files and all that. Oh, I almost went to the wrong course. Again. I still can't navigate in this overworld to save my friggin' life, I swear. Anyways, next up is going to be the boss stage, which is the one I should have lost on. I shouldn't have lost on the one beforehand because this is actually the boss stage and I don't see how it could be the boss stage. Even Ripper Ruse was more akin to what it should be and I don't know why I keep activating that glitch. Yeah, whenever you hit start when the intro thing's going on, you will some for whatever ungodly reason un um, mute the music. There is one gimmick in this track that I really want to mention that I absolutely loathe. Loathe with a friggin' passion. Aside from the fact that I can't hit box to save my life, and I think I'm encountering graphical glitches left and right. Just because I can still see... That cart right there would be it. Right there. That cart has hit me on a number of occasions. And this little turn here, if you're playing as tiny, it's the worst. It is the absolute friggin' worst. Oh, no, no, no. Fuck me! Really? Anyways... I don't have too much to talk about. I, again, I'm not getting hit with anything copyrighted so far. Just the music stuff, which I will fix. I hopefully, if this recording turns out well enough, I will be going back and um, actually doing a recording of SLEI later today. That's if everything works out in my favor. Kind of like things aren't working. Oh, shit! Aren't working out right now. Oh, I've never had that happen. Ironically enough, apparently when you do spawn in, when one of the masks is protecting you, they will hit any players that would uh, just get in your way. But it's so small and brief, that's the first time I've encountered it. I'm not kidding, that is the first time I've seen that happen, and I am not going to win this one, I think. Oh, I... For a moment, I almost ran into the damn Nitro, because I thought it was a freaking boost. No, 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 no! This could be very bad. Come on, give me something good. Give me something. Let me just. Oh, Let me. Ha of course, it's TNT. 
No, 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 no! I always fuck up on that turn. I swear it's like ungodly impossible to make that turn when playing as tiny. When playing as tiny, oh, come on, come on, come on. I can get it, I can get it. Oh my goodness, I thought I lost that one. I, I cannot do that turn for the life of me. This is the worst map to play on as tiny, admittedly. I, I don't think you can make that as tiny. That turn is just a little too steep for me, even if I do try and uh, drift into it. We win a trophy. Oh my goodness. I, I can't believe I didn't get back to this series any sooner. Uh, so I gotta take a look to see how long it's been. I think it's been like, what? Three months since I've been able to upload one of these videos. And, oh my goodness, this feels good. Anyway, on the polar stage, this might be the last one already, I don't know. Oh, hell no, we're only six minutes in just now, so I ain't, I am not quitting already. I, For all I know, hell, we could actually get the Ice World uh, trophied out by... Why do I do that? Trophied out by the time we're done with this. Uh, anyways, I'd like to give a little thank you to Courtney on this, because she actually reminded me I should probably try recording today. I just immediately passed that off as, you know, I'm not going to be able to. I'm just going to get interrupted for the umpteenth freaking time. And surprisingly enough, no, everything's going fine. I'm thrilled with this. I do have to admit, though, this is still my first recording for today, so who knows? We might be unpleasantly surprised later on, but I'm going to take it all in good faith at the moment. This actually is one of those courses that, again, does have a lot of bad turns in it, but this is one you can actually avoid most of them, and there's this one part coming up that you're going to want to try and keep full Wumpa Fruit for, because right here is a shortcut. You will want to abuse the hell out of the shortcut whenever you can, because Tiny's, Tiny's turning, as everybody might know, completely and utterly sucks. And because of that, at least with his uh, higher speed output, you should be able to easily jump that without even needing a boost, so long as you have full Wumpa Fruit. Um, and I don't think I ever did this before, but you can actually change out what uh, is on the bottom right-hand corner of your screen right there. I have no idea what the blue bar is for. Oh, blue bar, you almost distracted me enough. Just like an SLAI, I get blue bars. They are the bane of my existence. So, goody. Goody, goody gumdrops. I almost died. There's a reason for celebration. Almost dying. Oh, that's your height meter. What am I thinking? Um, now that I look at it, it's pretty much saying the higher you go, if it's blue, it'll give you a small one. Green, higher, and if I'd ever get to red, yeah. Speaking of which. Oh. Nope, no red. But it's very easy to uh, track what goes on. I don't... Oh. And the numbers apparently is how high in the air you jump. And there's even a yellow gauge, which I... Oh my goodness. This is just... This stage is just not... Really I thought this was the last lap. That's why I let myself run into that damn beaker. I thought it was the last lap. Um, anyways, again... I've been really meaning to do something other than these Let's Plays. Something that I think really attracted people to my channel long ago. I really have been meaning to do some uh, top tens again, because if I admit I've missed those, I should stop jumping for those. Because every time I jump for them, I almost spin out and kill myself with it. Um, anyways, you can take a look how far you can get ahead in the map with all the shortcuts I take over here and just all the jump boosts I take. Which one more for the win? I don't care if it's the wrong way. Yeah, that'll flash on screen. Ignore it. Take the jump. Take the friggin' jump. Um, to admit, I must admit one thing though. I have not tried that this stage recently with anybody else. So you may very well, in all likelihood, be able to make that jump with any other character with the full Wampa Fruit. But I've only seen it done with Tiny myself. And speaking. Speaking of Tiny, just because we have enough time for one more race at the very least, I'd say. And ironically enough, no, this is not post-recording. This is not post-recording at all. We win another trophy. We might actually indeed clear out the ice races before needing to end the video off. Because I'm going to try and make this like a 15-minute video, so yeah. 
now for Tiny's Arena, my home stage. If I lose here, I'm a friggin' loser, I swear. Although, I don't remember how this one plays out. I think it's like your typical Wario N64 course with all the mud and all that. If I remember right. It's like really big, if I remember right. Come on. Show me my own home. Yeah, it's just like that. It is just like that. Oh, so many boosts, the mud. Yeah, I do remember this stage now more. I, I was not flying blind, admittedly, on the uh, polar stage because I did do that in a cup race I did off screen just to make sure I, uh, I was able to play the game decently enough. But I didn't do any commentary for that, so that's why I suck a little bit still. Just a little bit. And one thing I gotta find ironic is uh, Tiny's vehicle, ironically enough, is not built for acceleration. This mud here is built uh, for people who have high acceleration, I would think. So why would Tiny... Uh, it, it just kind of makes no sense. I mean, it kind of does fit in the stage, but the mud does not. And damn it, I'm in 6th place. Let me the hell out of 6th place already. Oh, this is not going as planned at all, to say the least. Oh, well, I get some points over here. I'm hopeful to either finish the series off, though, or um, PVZ soon, just because I really do want to get onto this one to check some rumors, A, with my own account, which I know is very stupid and risky to do, but I want to see um, where this place stands. We're not even done with a single lap yet, people. This will be the last stage, I think. All right. But, yeah, I want to try and see it. See if they're on good grounds with gamers again, or if they're just being hard asses. And I really hope not, because I've been a childhood fan of these guys. Even crossovers, even some of their so-called bad games. I've liked some of them. And if you don't know who I mean... Oh, thank God for taking that hit crash. Oh, yeah, he's already back? That makes no friggin' sense. Oh, well. Anyways, um... The company I'm talking about, I won't... I may as well ruin it because they've made so many games that really you would have no clue still who I mean. I'm talking about Nintendo. There's a certain Nintendo game that I played recently for a certain system of theirs that I honestly hated beyond all belief that I want to play in order to give them a shot at redemption. But of course, if they were to hit me with copyright strike, then of course, screw them, because I... Oh, thank goodness that wasn't me again. The enemies keep taking my shots from me. Anyways, but yeah, if they hit me with copyright strike, that's it. I am totally done with Nintendo, because I cannot deal with all the asinine choices they keep making. But in any case, right here, right now, race and all that, I'm not much better off. And I keep jumping over the boxes. How the hell? I always do this on this course, I now remember. I'd always try and hit a box, but I'd always jump over it. I think they need to design a little bit higher, personally. Oh, oh shit! Sorry. I'm just trying to do this right, like I said before. And I do question one thing, with Tiny being the big brute brawler and all that, and probably would be more at home to like an Aztec Temple level himself, why did they design a stadium for him? And then again, now that I think about it, uh, the two places I can right now remember, you seen Tiny... What the hell was that? Don't tell me Rubber Band AI for the win! Please don't tell me that. I don't want to hear that. I do not want to hear that right now. I really don't want to hear Rubber Band AI for the win. Please don't tell me Rubber Band AI for the win. Oh, this should help. Oh, maybe that's what it was, because I didn't remember seeing anything, and if it was a stopwatch, I'd be a little zonked out still from it, so maybe it was just the blue orb of death and destruction, and please don't you dare tell me you're even thinking of winning this! Please no, please no, please! A little oh! That was too close for comfort. That is the longest map on this game. Anyways, I'm not saying what the game is, but yeah, I'm hopeful that I can do this one Nintendo game for a Let's Play. 
I don't plan to fully 100% but I do want to get the story mode in and a certain versus has already been done. But in any case, with that, let's hear Komodo Joe. So, you've beaten all the other racers on these tracks. Well, now you'll see why I'm the most feared driver on the circuit. I'll earn the right to face Oxide by crushing you into brick dust. Let's race. Something tells me that he has a slight speech impediment. But that could just be me speaking. Anyways, with this, I'm going to take a save here because I think this was a great recording. Everything's turning out alright. And just like Digimon World 3, I bet if I were to actually save right now over my original file, I would have problems. And I am still trying to do a post-commentary for that, damn it. I'll see you guys for the next episode. Goodbye and good night with 52% done.